everyone and welcome back to another video. So for today I have sat down and tried and tested the Primark Beauty range and um, to be honest there wasn't a great lot in my store to choose from so I just picked up a few little bits and pieces and just went with the flow and this is the look that I came up with. So if you want to see what I thought of the Primark makeup brand then just keep on watching the video. To prime my face I'm going in with the PS Primer Water and this was two pounds so We'll get that spritzed on. It's actually quite a nice smell of foundation. I picked up the PS Pro Longwear Mineralized Foundation. This is it here. This is five pounds, um, which for a pre-more foundation, it's pricey enough. I picked up the shade Ivory. Oh, an ivory. And it just comes in a little glass bottle. Oh, the bottle's quite fancy for being Primark. So we'll give this a go. I think I might just do this with my flat top Kabuki brush. This is just my Sigma flat Kabuki F80 brush. So it's just a little flat top one. And we'll give this a go. I'm just pumping it onto the brush itself. Okay, I think this is gonna be really pale. You're not giving bad coverage. Okay, so first glance, I think it's going to be quite oily on my skin. I have oily skin anyway. Um, Coverage-wise, there's still a bit of redness in around my nose. I just I think the colour is too pale for me to be honest um, but there wasn't that much of a colour selection in my pre-mark shop so yeah hopefully once we grow the skin up it'll look okay. Fingers crossed. Okay so for concealer I picked up this um, this concealer stick it's in the shade ivory so that's it there. I don't know how this is going to go but we'll stick it on and see. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, there's like nothing coming out. Yeah, <laughs> this wouldn't be the best. And I'm gonna just blend that in with my beauty blender. I'm going to put a bit around my nose here as well as I need a little bit more extra coverage. I actually feel that like on my eyes it just feels really thick and nearly my skin nearly feels like itchy so I'm going to just set it quickly um, before it creases. So to set it I got the um, mattifying pressed powder it here and this was two pounds and again this is in the shade ivory so it comes with your little sponge and just a nice little compact so you have your little mirror here too so we'll put this on and see how it looks and i'm just gonna go in this is my msq professional fluffy brush and i just use this to set my face so okay, okay. <laughs> bit of colour to this so it might add a little bit more coverage for us okay so the powder did add a little bit more coverage for me but it changed the colour of the foundation so it started off quite pale and it's added a little bit more um, colour to it it nearly looks a little bit orange now once the powder was applied to it. Um, so it's dried up all that greasiness from the foundation and it's just completely made my face matte. I do prefer more of a matte finish anyway to my foundation so yeah we'll just continue on. So for the contour I got this little contour kit here and there's three shades. There's three shades here. 
this probably more for like highlighting more bronzing and then for your contour so i'm going to go in with the shade just to contour a little bit first and i'm just using my little angled brush here by msq professional so we'll go in with this first color <laughs> i'm afraid to use this okay it looks really dark in the camera but in real lighting it doesn't look that dark at all, it actually looks quite nice. And then going to pick up this middle shade just right here and we're going to bronze the skin a little bit. She's using the same angled brush so I hope to god this is as nice. I'm actually really liking this. Bit up around the forehead as well. I actually really, really like that. As I said, I think the camera's picking up to be a lot darker than what it actually is. It's quite natural looking. It doesn't seem to be patchy or anything, and it blended actually really, really well. Thumbs up, pre mark. For my highlighting, I got this strobing highlighter cream, which was two pounds. This is the only sort of highlighter I had seen, so I picked it up and we'll see how it looks. It's more of like a pinkier sort of shade. That looks really, really well. I don't know how it's going to look once I put it on my face. I might just use whatever I have on my finger and just pat it in. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think it looks it's hard to blend in once it's on the skin because it dries in really really quick so it is quite hard to blend. It has given a little bit of a sheen um, but I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it to be honest. Mm. And I also picked up this is a body bronzer so it's sort of like gold but then once you swatch it it turns like that sort of brownie color don't know if you can see that so I'll swatch it for you anyway it's more it is definitely more of a bronzer I like to put this on my shoulders so we'll put a little bit there I don't think I'm gonna rest putting any on my face but I'm just gonna end with a little fan brush and we'll dust a little bit of this on our shoulders so for eyes I picked up two palettes this first one which is the smoky palette so you've just all your navies and silvers so that was 250 and then I picked up their bronze shadow and shade palette which was four pounds is it here so I think I might go with this one and do just a nice bronzy sort of look. And you have your little list of colours as well, which is handy. This one, I'm going in with this colour here and it's called Desert Dream. Okay, there is a little bit of fallout as soon as you put your brush into the colour. So we'll see how this applies. I'm just running that colour underneath the lower lash line also. And then for all over the lid, I'm going to go in with Sunseeker, this little goldy shade here. Oh wow. And I'm not having to keep going in and dipping my brush either. That was just one swatch of colour. Four pounds. It's really, really good. Well done, Primark. A star with this color here charcoal I 
Mm -hmm. I think there's like maybe the tiniest little bit of sparkle through the charcoal. When I first put it on I thought it was going to be really dark but once you blend it it sort of disperses into nothing. I'm just going to run that underneath the lash line as well. Charcoal is meant to be more of like a grey than an actual black. It's not too bad once you blend it out, but it's still not great. For the inner corner, I'm going to use this shade here, which is called White Sands. It's no MAC nylon, to be honest. So, yeah. The, like, the goldy shades are quite nice, but the darker colours, like the charcoal, it's a little bit patchy and wishy-washy looking. Um, it's not really that pigmented, and when you blend it out, the colour seems to disappear. There's a tiny bit of fallout, which isn't too bad, um, but you'd have to wipe it off pretty quick, because I think if you left it on the skin and wiped it away, like I can see, it's quite like dark underneath my eyes there, where it has fallen out, but yeah. But I couldn't get any mascara so I'm just going to use my trusty old Rimmel mascara and just pop that on my upper and lower lashes. So for lashes I couldn't see any of Primark's own brand so I picked up the ones by Sosumi and these are in the style of Milan. So I'm going to pop them on and I'll be right back. So that's the lashes on. Nice and dramatic and really fluttery. I absolutely love these and they're only five pounds so they're a complete bargain. So for my brows, again, I couldn't find anything um, in my store. So I think I'm just going to go in with one of the brown shades out of the contour palette and just hope to God that it looks okay. So I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows. My eyebrows are already tinted so they have a bit of colour to them. So I'm just going to go in, I think maybe more with the first shade here. This one here will try. Just fill in any little sparse gaps that I have. Okay, so for lips, I'm going in with this Velvet Matte Crayon Lipstick here, and this is in the shade Super Nude. I think this was two pounds as well, which again is a complete bargain, especially because it's really, really pigmented. It doesn't feel dry on the lips either. Yeah, I quite like that. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the little subscribe button down below and you'll be notified about any updates on my channel. And until next time, bye.